Hey guys, Ronnie here. Welcome to this tutorial where I will be showing you guys how to upload images to Parse and then fetch those images and populate it into a list view on your uh, Android application. Now, this is a question I've been receiving for quite some time now and uh, I haven't had the chance to do it. Now, finally, I've uh, had uh, the time to come up with. Now, I want to also uh, apologize about one thing and that is uh, you're going to be hearing some noises uh, from cars. Uh, that's because I just moved to a new apartment and uh, so just bear with that alright guys so let's go ahead and do this now I've just created a new Android project here uh, it's, uh, it's a new app called Im image uploading app now let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, new data that Android came up with that context that main so I don't really need these in the floating action button so this is the due to the new API, but I'll delete that and just go back to the previous APIs that we've been working with. So I'll just delete this content main as well because I really don't need this right now. I just want to go to the basic. All right, so we have that gone and all right. So um, let me just jump to the activity main here. Uh, this is the layout. Now let's design this layout. Uh, let's just get rid of this. Let's make it a relative layout. And I'll just show you the simple design that I have in mind right now. So I'm going to say match parent here so that it fills out the parent. Okay. All right. Seems like my autocomplete has a much parent and then uh, the width it is also match parent I just woke up it's really early in the morning guys so I can't really type that fast right now I don't even get it but all right so we have that and let's check it out looks pretty cool and so we're going to have a list view in here. This is where we're going to populate our data. So let's create a simple list view. And I'm going to match parent. My autocomplete is back on. That's cool. Uh, all right. Should we use the shorthand? Yeah, probably right. That's better. And then use it. Um, Give it an ID, use the Android ID, which is uh, ID list. This is the default given to you by Android, right? Uh, yep. And then here now, since we have that, we can extend uh, list activity, right? And uh, so on option create a menu. I really don't need these uh, because you're not going to be creating menus, just the on create button there is fine. All right, so we have this list view here showing up so again guys uh, there's a helicopter flying above me I think <laughs> so just bear with that again all right now <clears throat> excuse me we have the list view and uh, so I want I came up with that de I design idea where we could have a add button here now we could click the add button and an alert dialog would show up asking us if we want to uh, take a photo or upload a photo from our phone so I uh, also another upload button here where we could decide if we want to yeah as soon as we click that of course you upload the image to parse and I uh, also maybe have an image in the middle of this list view really crazy uh, concept of a design but I mean it's just a tutorial uh, so just use it uh, you know as a blueprint I guess now we're gonna have an image view like I said and we're gonna display that image that we just uploaded or taken right here before we click upload to send it to parse and then when we try maybe to restart the app it populates on this list views so having said that in uh, having said that let's go ahead and create uh, those buttons so let's add a small button drag it here give it a name of add so this is add image button that's the ID we've given the, given that and let's add another small button right here and 
we're going to call this um, upload and this is an upload button right upload image button just to be precise you know that's the ID and then we could have an image view Ooh. I'll just yeah image view right here this is the preview yeah, okay so I'll just actually just go inside here and give it a height of maybe 200 device pixel and uh, the same here and let's give it an ID of a preview image view something like that and uh, there you have it so we're gonna have the preview there and then send it to parse so this looks really not the best in the world but uh, it will work for our purposes so um, all right let's go ahead now to start calling uh, you know initializing this so that we can start working with these um, these elements on the screen the, the object so here uh, I've always used protected you could use private you could use public depending on you know what you're really accomplishing for me I use protected and I will say protected button um, and this is um, add image I'll just m add image button btn and then protected button now typing all this sometimes if you have like a huge app can be cumbersome and hectic or tiresome so uh, there's, there's this new uh, tool you can use this new library called button knife so if you go to github and check out button knife you can use it and uh, it's pretty awesome I've used it before but in this case I, I just don't want to add a lot of libraries so we'll just move on with this so m preview m upload upload image button and then we have protected image view and preview image view image view okay excuse me guys for a second let me pause this video I run out real quick I have to get something real quick all right we're back again guys sorry about that all right now uh, where were we and preview image all right so we have all that now as you can see uh, I don't have to initialize the list view for example because I use the list activity if I use the just activity or a different uh, extension uh, you know uh, I would have you know I uh, changed that I would initialize the list view but in this case I use that all right so we have that let's initialize them here initialize and we're going to say m add image button equals to we'll cast it uh, down to a button first and then find it well you can find it first and then cast it <laughs> our id and then this was add image button i believe and the m upload button all right let's find it it's uh, r dot id dot upload image button and then now we have to cast it as you can see it's like okay <laughs> you're gonna avoid that anyways in the first place right so m preview image m preview image view equals to this one is casted into an image view find it r dot id dot preview preview image view so we've initialized those now like we said so in this case we want the add button to be clicked right and then an alert dialog pops up and asks us to upload or take a photo so let's go ahead and do that right now so listen to add button click so m add button dot set on click listener now this is our listener it has a inner method <coughs> excuse me 
and uh, on click here we want to uh, ask or show a lot dialog right show dialog yeah I mean I don't have to use an alert dialog but in this case I'll go ahead and do that just to make it easier I'm really trying to do this as fast as I can so all right new alert dialog and then we extend uh, yeah, we could say the context of this, but in this case, we'll get an error because we're inside of an inner method on click. All right, anonymous, uh, you know what that is. <laughs> so I'll say main activity that this, and then builder.set title, and then we could say upload or take a photo and then builder dot set positive button we want the positive button to be that uh, okay upload the easiest way right taking photos adds more to the memory which should be negative right think about it logically like that and then new on click listener and then here uh, And then here we're going to say, here, this is where we're going to upload photo, upload image. And then build a dot set negative button, which is take photo. You could just be both sides, you could just say take photo, yeah, you know, take yeah well maybe not worry about it and then on click listener that look uh, this is tick photo and we're going to be using an intent so we're going to work on that new dialog equals to builder dot create dialog dot show all right, so we have that. Now, I think this is going to work. Let's hope. Let's I have any motion there running. And yep. All right, I'm gonna pause this until when it's ready to run. Uh, I'll, I'll bring it back. All right. All right, guys. So it's ready. So I'll click add. And as you can see, you have this dialog: take photo, upload. Nothing happens. Take photo. So, all right. So I'll stop it here. And in the next video, we're going to see now how to work with this to take an image and upload an image as well. And then the final video uploaded, and we'll see how we work th through this. So. Uh, make sure you follow along and thanks for watching make sure you like the video if yeah you find or find it useful share or subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next video thanks